This is a little museum at Ultapai. We're at the Ultapai Gorge. This is the area where the Leakies made their discoveries about the historic man. An archaeological work going on here for oh, well over 50 years. This is the Ultapai Gorge. I think this is part of the Great Rift Valley. It goes all the way up into the Middle East. Lewis and Mary Leakey began in 1924. And one of the other spent 60 years here doing research West, on yeah. prehistoric sites. Uh, your explanation is more official. Because instead of having your explanation at one of those two resting parts of the museum over there, I uh, have explanation right at the bottom of the goal, which is here we are now. The name of the site comes from this place. But Maasai call it Old Pie. In English, we call it as the Wild Saiso. So this is Wild Saiso because it grows in the bush. So that, like another Saiso, the plant has several uses. Here are th three giraffes, actually four. Yeah. Three there down here in the bottom of the Old Pie Gorge walking towards one of the discovery sites. We were told there are five geological zones here in the gorge. Volcanic, volcanic ash, and then sediment from a lake, and two more layers of various kinds of volcanic ash. This is the exact spot where the skull was found. This is where your great 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 aunt was found. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. go ahead. Yeah. A lot of uh, exceptions which were discovered because they are well displayed and well illustrated. Mm -hmm. Same. Um, let's say here we are at the very important site which shows us the effort of Dr. Lewis and Mary Leakey. Uh, worked here for uh, 28 years continuously, mm -hmm. since 1931 up to 17th of July 1959. 31, 59, 28 years working here. Do you know that uh, every year they keep on dragging, keep on dragging trenches all over the gorge. Many trenches they can, but. In 17th of July, 1959, they made their first major discoveries as a human-like, but more ape-like. The skull of Austro-Anglo Pithecus, Boys A, or Zinja Anthropus. So now we are at the actual place, or actual spot, where the discovery of the skull was made, 1959. That's where this monument was built. And this is the new plaque for this, celebra this celebration in mean, 50, uh, gold anniversary of the skull of the skull. The structure of the skull shows us that boys say it's more, it's, it's ape-like, it's more ape-like because of the structure of the skull. Even if you look at the structure of the skull, but the cast of the skull is in the museum, uh, you can find that the skull of boys say had a line cut in the head. We call it as a sagittal crust. Sagittal crust uh, support the muscles while grinding nuts, open the jaws, hard teeth, enable themselves to grind hard seeds, and that's why it was nicknamed as nutcracker. So boys say it's nutcracker. 
But on the other hand, that the boys say small ape like because of the brain size capacity. They had a big skull, yes, everybody knows. But having a big skull is not the matter. Because the matter is what is in the skull, not the big of the skull. <laughs> so that what is in the skull of boys is so very small like this. 400 cc or cubic centimeters of brain size capacity. This was the site of, uh, well, I don't know, village is not the right word, but a place where a clan hung out. And the skull found here dates back to 1.7 million years ago. It was pre-human, but human erectus was found here, and that dates back to about 1.2 million years ago. And human erectus is the first humanoid that used fire.